it's time for a little bit of Crusader Kings 3. And this is the Royal Court, the first big major expansion Crusader Kings 3. We have items, we have culture, and we have the Royal Court. Uh, today we're going to be checking out some of the really fun meme things you can do with culture. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. I will be breaking the game. And yes, we are going to be playing as Beyond Ironside. Beyond. Is that the most Swedish name you've ever heard? That's right. Sweden. So do you want to see me unify all of Sweden, Norway and Denmark uh, within 10 years without fighting a single war? That's happening. Do you want to see me create the most wonky, hybridized cultures around the world? That's right. Look at all this culture memory. Oh, look at all this. We've got traditions. You can reform your own culture, make your own culture. Wow. Or you can take the ultimate F card and be like, I don't like Norse anymore and all their coolness. Let's become Swedish, but not today. All right, then. First off, diplomacy. And we are going to become August. So we reset your perks. Going to go for a little bit of majesty focus and all of these. This is the one we really want. The true ruler. 25% extra offer of vassalization acceptance. They're all the Norse religion and they're all the same culture group. There's a very, very high chance they would just give up their independence and join me. Ain't that convenient. Let's make some horsemen, level five horsemen. And this just means I've got larger armies so people won't bully me. I'm looking at you, boyo down here. Yes, you. Stake in the eye. Big army. Yeah, please don't declare war on me. This happens quite often. Don't worry about it, though. If you've got a big army, you won't do it. First thing we need to wait for is this little war in Europe with your brothers. Come on, brothers. Come on. Can we all come together and come to an agreement that Britain should be Norse? Well, they can take care of that. I'm taking care on uh, good old Sweden. Oh, we have the first hybridized culture, the Norse Gale hybridization. Where is this? And it's here. So the Gaelics have fused with the Norse, forming the Norse Gale. So this is a new ability. You find a culture around the map, you can form a hybrid culture, which lets you get the best of both. So you can steal their traditions, uh, you can steal their language, and then you can keep your existing innovations and traditions. And you also gain all the innovations they've learned as well. So the best of both culture. We have basically created multiculturalism in 867. Wow. And that's kind of what they've done. So the objective today is to create the most bastardized culture that is humanly possible. Saxon? Oh, what about Anglo-Norse? Ooh, that'd be a great idea. So what are the requirements? You need to have 20% acceptance of this culture. You'll gain more acceptance once you conquer some of their land and some of their people live within your realm. We'll work on that and we'll come back to that soonish. First thing we can do to help culture acceptance is hop onto the culture of Saxon, find out who the culture head is, right click and learn their language. That's right. We're going to pull out the book and learn about the language of the Saxons. Yeah, 15% chance. Yes, the Vikings weren't big on learning, but there are many events that'll pop up that'll help our progress. Maybe we'll find a mentor. Yeah, but we won't. Let's see. The war in Europe is over. What, what is this? Vikings? Raiding Vikings? Madness. Got them. Right, we'll become August, and we'll also get Thoughtful, which basically means gifts become so OP. Bribery, the new diplomacy tool. And this one that reduces the cost of t creating tiles, and we will be creating some tiles, so that's going to be useful. So first of all, we've got this guy in the north here. I'm going to send him a gift, and he offer them vassalage. That's right, now you become part of my realm. It was just that easy. And we'll hop into the ledger, and we'll see if anyone else wants to join us. They won't at this moment in time. What we need to do is, do is expand our de jure realm, which is Sweden. And to afford the cost of Sweden, we need to save up a little bit of gold. So let's just wait. So we'll create a new duchy. We'll go for Norland. Here we go, another opportunity to vassalize the chief of this guy. Oh, Swedish names. And then we take his land, click on him, and right click on his title, and you can see what land we've taken. It's because we've got de jure claim on this territory from the duchy title we have just created. Magnificent. 250 gold, and we are now the king of Sweden. Now, if we were feudal, we'd get an actual royal court at this point, where we can spend grandeur and throw our money away on fancy things like drinks and servants. Because we're tribal, we don't get a royal court. But this video is all about culture. We're going to talk about culture today, guys. Oh, prepare to get super cultured and also prepare to conquer all the Scandinavia diplomatically. Look at all these vassals that want to join my realm because I'm so powerful, so flexy. So if you're not aware, if you have control of a de jure realm, which in this case is Sweden, you get a bonus to vassalize anyone who lives within this realm that is independent. So all of these guys watch. Boom, eaten, boom, eaten, and boom, eaten. Look at the size of the realm now. It is massive. But that's not all. You're thinking, oh, well, we just got Sweden now, haven't we? Oh, no, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. And how predictably, Mr. Snake Boyo has declared war on me. I told you this was going to happen. Regardless. Anyway, thoughtful, get the gift bonus, and then we get to just stomp his armies when they arrive. Where are they? They're going to land directly on my capital. Oh, and he just lands. He has a disembark penalty. Oh, dear. Plus 29 combat advantage. Oh, boy. The briefest of conflicts. And I just go directly to their capital and siege it down and I end this stupid war. Siege another one. Ding. Go away. And then I send him a gift. And then he now becomes my vassal. This is how we win wars diplomatically, gentlemen. Razor Runestone, because now we are full on Swedish. 
Paradox would be proud. And now we go for a run to work off some uh, stress. Stress from Diplomatic Conquest. Who would have thought? Oh, damn, we've, we probably really should uh, invent deodorant. Oops. So, Norway. That's a thing. Send gift. Off of vassalization. They're a pretty big one, too. So go for the duchies first. Send gift. Off of vassalage. Oh, my. It's so easy. Is this working as intended? I actually don't know. But regardless, it's damn fun. Oh, look at this big boy -o. Denmark in one go? Don't mind if I do. Ugh, hallelujah. I, hallelujah? Hang on, wait, hang on. I'm Norse. I'm Norse. Um, glory to Thor, Odin, all the boyos. Send it. Vassalize. Big duchy boyo in Norway. Send it. Vassalize. Gone. Let's become a pilgrim, which gives us plus 10 relations to all Norse. In this case, we'll head to somewhere that's probably just next door. Gain pilgrim, gain a relations boost, and all these small Norwegian counts will all join me. Gotland. I'll take it. Push for the north. Vassalage in the north. There's another big duchy here that is Norse. Send a gift and offer vassalage. All right, the Norwegians are reluctant to become my vassal, so we'll create the Kingdom of Norway, and now they'll all say yes. One, two, three, four, five, and there we go. Conquest made easy. That's right. A diplomatic unification of Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. The pen is mightier than the battle axe. We need some Saxon culture in our nation. This Martian peasant republic? Much? Off you go, lads. We have seized an artifact, a battle axe. Let's have a look. Inventory, open it up. Battle axe gains plus four to prowess. Seems very Norse too. I'll take it, I'll equip it. Frankian, Norse battle in the Isles. Absolutely annihilated. Round two, ding ding. Done, Saxons are in our realm. Now we can grab our steward and we'll make sure we'll grab one that's very qualified. 20 stewardship, yeah, that sounds about right. And do promote cultural acceptance. So per year, we gain 0.84 cultural acceptance, in this case, for the Saxons. You hop into culture map mode, you can see here, 0.64. It is a tricky culture to accept because it has ruling caste, but that is not gonna stop us from trying. Celibacy. Adopt the special succession of the Scandinavians. The ancient ways are the best. So a little rundown on hybridizing cultures. So you've got the two options. You can create a new culture, which is here. So reform Norse. You can add your own traditions. Some of them are very, very spicy, which is by the sword. Unlimited a number of kingdom holy wars. I know, I know, very strong. And some interesting ones too, like agrarian, extra plus 30% development growth in farmlands. That's pretty spicy too. But they all have a very big price tag and there's things you can do to make them cheaper, as you can see here. Five counties with farmlands or floodplains and makes it cheaper. Also, all cultures have an, a main ethos, which in this case, bellicose for the Norse, as you would imagine, militaristic society. And some cool ones as well, such as uh, bureaucratic's pretty strong too. Look, lifestyle, extra progress, cultural, cultural fascination, and extra development growth. Very, 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 very strong. Now, as you can see, these are horrendously expensive. The easy mode is to do what I said before, form a hybrid culture. Find a culture that you like the ethos behind, so you could switch it. Uh, you get to steal their innovations, and you also get to mingle between their traditions and your traditions. And as you can see, haha, that's a lot, lot cheaper. All we need is 20% culture acceptance of that culture. We're working on it. It's gonna take some time, but we're working on it. You will receive a book artifact. This book is charting the human body, plus 5% learning experience and a little bit of prestige. That's actually really good. Let's equip that. Reduces the cost of men at arms. What? I thought trained commanders made your men at arms cheaper. Turns out they've moved it down to organized army now. Army maintenance minus 23%. Wow, I feel deceived. There we go. Did I say this campaign was about diplomacy and working with the world? Damn right it was. Religion, other religions, not Norse. We are now Catholics, apart from you. Why won't you convert? Because he's zealous. I sent him some money. And he'll convert. Everyone is convertible. Glory to God and the Pope. And like all good Catholics, uh, we give the Pope a big kiss. Oh, tax refund. Fund, even though I've not been paying any taxes. Aha. The end of the Norse faith. The beginning of hyper multiculturalism. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Marry in to my realm. You steward 27 stewardship. What a lad. Okay, I always forget to do this, but you have to build up your uh, capital. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. Build taller. 35% chance of learning Saxon. And I'll learn it. Wow, that was really lucky. As you can see, I know Norse and I do know Saxon. I can speak both tongues and that's my limit because I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Learning terrible. New dynasty perks. Customs allows us to learn more languages. Languages, accept culture, accept more culture, and throw a party for multiculturalism. Yes, cultures, that's a thing. Let's learn Dutch. Hey, a pet dog. This is really good to get a pet dog at 70, because that's going to massively boost my health. A little pupper. What a great name. No! 
Ooh. Okay, we lived a good life. Okay, max out the men at arms. Spend all my prestige. Build another building. Spend that more prestige. You lose all your prestige and pirate when you die, so you just spend it. Found a holy order. Yeah, why not? All right. Uh, it turns out my first in line is causing a lot of problems with this succession. He looks like he's going to inherit everything. So I am fortunately going to have to either throw him in prison or disinherit. I think I'm going to throw him in prison. And uh, off with his head. Kinslayer, bad things have been done. But now we have a one true heir to the greater realm. And the only realm we will not inherit will be Denmark. That's okay. We can always just fight for it back. Oh, and we will. We are dead. The age of 71. Mr. Ironside. Bjorn has died. Oh, and we lost Norway as well. Okay, so what do we got going on? We are a murderer and a kinslayer. Interesting, because that was what my father had got going on for him. Okay. Guess maybe we should ask the Pope for forgiveness. Does that even work? I don't even know. We arrange the council. We're not particularly loves, but we have got uh, a lot of time to build better relationships, build those bridges. Going on a hunt, because we need the prestige. Straight away, dangerous factions are forming. Well, is what it is. And we're going straight for August Path. That's perfect, because we need that prestige. Without further ado, time for Wars of Unification. I want Denmark back. Two big battles in the south. Conquered half of Denmark and captured my cousin. Question is, is if I kill my cousin, will I inherit? No, I won't. So it's not worth it. One of two complete. Okay, I'm going to move my capital to Skane. One, because it's farmland. And two, this is a good area to expand into. Time to play middle-aged dress up. Armor. Go for that one. Axe. Sword. Or hammer. I got the axe. We've got lots of items, but they're all weapons and armors. So I can only wear two. Oh, well. Unification War. Part two. And captured my cousin again. We now have 20% culture acceptance for the Saxons. And they're also learning a new tradition too. Winter Warriors. Form a hybrid culture. The generic name will be the Anglo-Nordic. I like that name. I like that name a lot. We're going to start learning Saxon as the language. We'll keep the heritage as Northern Germanic. We either keep it on bellicose or move to stoic. Bellico seems way better. Pick a color, make it slightly darker. So we get to choose our five traditions now, and we can mix and match between Norse as well as Saxon. Malleable Invaders is awesome because it allows us to form more hybrid cultures. It's the whole point of this video. Stand and fight is awful. More expensive men at arms, but they're tougher. I really don't care for that. Ruling cast is frankly awful. Ting me is okay. Religious patronage, ah, I like that. Coastal Warriors is kind of good too. Performative, honor, nah, nah, not really. And Northern Stones is pretty good. Uh, aesthetics, we're going to make them look European. Uh, we'll go with Saxon names. What's the fashion? Norse or Holy Roman? Now nah, we'll go with Holy Roman. And we'll move more towards a Germanic coat of arms. Done. And we earn five innovations from this. Five. Boom. The Anglo Nordic hybridization. The Saxon and the Norse peoples have grown increasingly close over the years. Now individuals from these societies have begun to view themselves not as one or the other, but as both. Simultaneously, a new Anglo-Nordic culture. To a new age, a new era, and a new people. Move over Anglo-Saxon. We have Anglo-Nordic. Come on, guys. Best of both, right? Oh, they've even formed the Kingdom of Germany, too. Wow. Move over Germany. A new Germanic Norse faith is going to replace you. Meanwhile, we'll just conquer Northern Germany and no one seems to care. Right. Pass absolute crown authority. And we should have the ability now to adopt feudal ways. Yep. Adopt feudal ways. Noble tribalism. Unity. And we lose half of our income. Oof. You now have a royal court. Yay, this is where we sit. Hey guys, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll make a video dedicated to how to manipulate the royal court. But today I want to focus mostly on culture. Wouldn't mind a little bit of uh, Dutch territory. Press claim. Yoink. Oh dear, money problems. The king's worst nightmare. Stability, prosperity, building super tall, making some progress. My life's work. The Lund Cathedral is complete. Oh, look at those bonuses. Oof. Greetings, my liege. Please accept this humble gift. It was a treasured possession of mine, so I hope it honors and serves you as well. We will be gifted Excalibur. Okay, I've been told, apparently, there are lots of fake legendary items in this game, and I think this is one of them. Let's just call every sword Excalibur, all right? But regardless, I'm still going to show it off in my throne room. Oop. Found a new empire. It's expensive, but I'll do it. Empire of Sweden? Ah, I don't think so. Let's make our own court with arms. The E. The equal. The hybrids. The multicultures. The axe to represent our Norse roots. And the crown of the Duchy of Sweden. We will be now known as the North dying. You are on death's door. Oh my goodness. To say I inherited a murderer and a kinslayer, uh, he did really well. Feels sad to let him go. Diplomacy wins. I will be known as uh, the Chronicler. Yeah, sure, I wrote lots of books. Why not? Regardless, several laws deleted. 
Several disinheritances were finally on the path to a proper succession. Hallelujah. A new emperor, and he's young, he's intelligent, and he's a brilliant strategist. I can't complain. The only big titles I lost uh, was Norway and Sweden. Are you ready for confusion? Are you ready for stupidity? Well, let's form a hybrid culture with the Dutch. Let's become bureaucratic with our ethos. Way better. Let's change our heritage from Northern Germanic to Central Germanic. Continue to speak Saxon. Men only. Our culture will be called Bratovo Anglo Nordic. City buildings are cheaper. Win. Agrarian. Win. Malleable invaders. Win. Hollers. Buildings have extra bonuses. Yeah, why not? And Northern Stones. Buildings and maritime boat boyos. But we'll give up coastal warriors. Oh no, I have to give up the stones. I can only have six cultures. Goodbye, stones. We are now the Batabo Anglo Nordic hybridization. Oh god. Peak culture has arrived. New culture has been born. Talio French. Cursed. Cursed. What a marvelous item. The Batavo Anglo Nordic throne. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look very uh, prestigious. Batavon Anglo Nordic Ornamental Coffit. Coffret. Name's getting uh, ridiculously long now. Isn't that magnificent? Swedish to one side, Norwegian to another, Danish wedged in the middle, and the full on Batavo Anglo Nordic culture. What if we were to go one step beyond? Polish hybridized culture. Polish Batavu Anglo Nordic culture. Form hybrid culture. What? Ascend above that. Russia. <laughs> Form hybrid culture. Speak Saxon and Eastern Slavic. The Russo-Polish Batavu Anglo-Nordic culture. Boom. <laughs> that is a work of art. But what if we were to go further? Sweden, the Swedu Russo Polish Batavu Anglo Nordic. Oh, this run, they've run out of characters. <laughs> Further beyond. Well, I think we've done enough damage. 